Hearthstone's newest expansion, Whizbang's Workshop, has been officially released, and with that also came a rotation. So here are the best decks so far. If you enjoy Hearthstone content, make sure you subscribe. I'm so close to 200,000. Death Knight being our first class in alphabetical order is basically doing the same thing it did last expansion with Rainbow Death Knights. You have Reska, which is a pretty great card and climactic necrotic explosion, but the real win condition nowadays is going to be the Headless Horseman. That's why the deck is what it is. The great thing about the Headless Horseman is that the hero power is generally pretty good just doing three damage for two mana but once you actually get the head your hero power allows you to discover an undead which means you have infinite value death Knight also just has a lot of really great tools to get through the early game and mid game and if you really need to you could swap a couple of these cards like you don't really need stitch and sue you could probably just put some kind of form of zilliax overall death Knight looks really good this expansion and if you open the headless horseman you should be pretty happy demon hunter is next in line and demon hunter is doing a lot of really unique things this expansion because of Meg Theriodon unreleased it allows Demon Hunter to be a pretty versatile package the main way I was playing this deck was being pretty aggressive in the early game often just killing my opponents on turn four or five because that's what Demon Hunter can do but if I needed to play the control deck you want to play for the Widow Shopper Meg Theriodon and Zilliax all three of these cards allow you to basically seal up games against Paladin and other aggro decks will Demon Hunter remain a good class throughout the expansion it's very hard to tell I think they're definitely going to start leading in more to the aggro package rather than the Meg Theriodon package but we'll have to wait and see also CCG is a surprisingly better card than I thought it was going to be I don't know if it's great but it's definitely not the worst thing ever Hunter looks beastly this expansion they got a lot of very good tools including an old favorite from back in classic the main thing I have noticed with Hunter is that they can kill you extremely quickly and because Zilliax also reduces its cost and gives an aura to your minions there is a surprising amount of durability to your minions I don't think I really have to go into how you have to play this hunter deck you just want to play ones to twos to threes to fours to fives and kill your opponents if the game goes on to like turn nine turn ten you probably lost it but don't ever count yourself out there's a surprising amount of damage in this deck also this deck is pretty cheap if you're looking for a budget deck to climb with the only two legendaries you need to craft is the titan as well as zilliax but zilliax is such a good craft this expansion don't feel bad about doing it i don't know what to really say here man i feel like this is a really good deck i'm a little nervous for how strong hunter will be this expansion and if you're looking for a pretty easy climber now while decks are still really unrefined this is the deck you should probably go with like look how disgusting this board is against this death knight like what were they gonna do against me they had no shot probably one of the more interesting decks this expansion so far is with druid druid's always doing stupid stuff as usual and this expansion is no exception because they're going for a spell damage package it is important to note swipe is now three mana just let that sink in real fast this is definitely a combo centric deck you don't want to play this for like an aggro mid-range type of thing because you definitely need your combo pieces cover artist is here to copy your alanis or potentially your titan if you need extra mana or to draw more cards this deck will obviously take a little bit more time to get fully refined but if you're looking for a pretty base package for druid this is what a lot of the high legend players were playing in the first couple days of the expansion mage is back to doing no minion thing and i honestly feel like mage is really good if it wasn't for the bane of existence that is hunter against it one of the reasons is mage has so much early game removal install with cards like flame geyser and soul freeze which allows them to get to their late game potential with their elemental inspiration yog in the box which i think is an absolutely broken card sunset volley and of course the galactic projection or fun fact for you you cannot discover this card if you play no mini and mage before this is basically the same concept and i do feel like this is a pretty powerful deck especially because of manufacturing error it's like skull of guldan for no mini and mage if you're remember that card will mage continue to be good i think so i do think this deck has a lot of potential and god i can't believe how strong this card actually ends up being definitely look for this card though this card's pretty good in the early game probably the strongest deck so far goes to paladin which is an absolute travesty paladin is basically just doing hand buff stuff with grime street outfitter and musclelatron which allows them to basically be an unstoppable force our old friend leroy really helps out with this package because you're able to to get a lethal kill without having a minion on board which is very scary and Zilliax with his aura and reducing in cost with the amount of minions you can summon makes this deck an absolute nightmare to play against and because you could continue buffing the minions in your hand with the painter's virtue this actually can go the distance
distance and be a pretty annoying late game threat there's so many different builds for this if you want to go for the excavate shroomscavate build I'm sure that's completely fine this is the one that I was seeing and trying with and I was having so much success I was going to craft one deck for the sole purpose of climbing I would try to find a paladin build that suits your dust needs shockingly priest has a really fun deck to play this expansion with miracle priest the whole idea is to draw as many cards as possible to play your playhouse giants and then play time winder I hardly know her and then kill them the following turn because these giants are probably going to cost zero mana and because you also have thirsty drifter that costs zero and you have your zilliax and you have pip the potent to potentially get even more stuff this isn't a priest deck that just kind of sits around and waits for your opponent there is a lot of tempo to be had here and I actually had a lot of fun playing this which I didn't think I would ever say about a priest deck will this continue to be good as the expansion develops we'll have to wait and see but I do feel like cheating out big eight eights pretty early on in the game is pretty good rogue is actually really difficult to pinpoint what the best deck is because they all just basically cater around Sonia I swear to God if I see a single comment if you know you know she is a really really good card and the fact that rogue could actually manipulate this to get multiple Sonia's because it's currently bugged means the cards even better than it's supposed to be the main win condition seems to be right now is using Valera's gift to get deadly poisons to get a lot more deadly poisons because of how it interacts with Sonia's and then you go for the lethal kill I'm not sure what the optimal build is there seems to be a lot of testing with this do you lean more with the pirate package or do you lean more with just the strictly weapon and then go for the face kind of build I like this one a lot more I think it had a lot more spice because you go for the draw triple seven plus everything must go is a pretty interesting combo that I did not expect to see play and above all else shadow step is still a really really good card I think overall rogue will be in a pretty good spot as long as Sonia doesn't just get turbo nerfed so if you opened her and you're looking for a deck to climb here's one but I would also go check out other builds from pro streamers because I'm sure above all the other classes rogue is going to change quite a bit this expansion shaman actually looks really fun this expansion shutter block is obviously a very good card but the way that it works with chaotic tendrils is just kind of amazing the 10 cost spells currently in the standard pool are basically between three there's galactic there's the handlock spell that does three damage to the enemy minions and there's sunset volley but because you can't generate a galactic orb from mage so this deck is basically just drawing your deck to get the shutter block and then playing as many chaotic tendrils to win the game it is a lot of fun especially if you like the old yog saran kind of days and shaman has so much removal with baking soda aftershocks lightning storm that it's pretty easy to get to the late game and just win from there but I'm pretty sure this is a deck that will only last for one expansion only as there will probably be more 10 cost spells added to the pool at some point I don't even think you need like Geppetto I, I think you could get away with like cutting some of these legendaries I just feel like this is a pretty fun deck and I wanted to show it off time for Warlock which I am absolutely in love with there's so many different iterations of like handlock from back in classic because they brought back mountain giants and they brought back molten giant which is like the the nostalgia scene from Ratatouille for me I'm going with this build I absolutely was dominating I didn't lose a single game with wheel of death plus Tony because the way you play this is just set up a really big board of taunty demons and then play wheel of death and then steal their deck or you just play symphony of sins I don't know if this is the best build for handlock but I was having much success with this if you're a warlock main you should feel very happy to play this also I'm pretty sure sludge warlock is still really good but I'm not showing that off last but not least is definitely warrior if you're you're someone who really enjoys control warrior this is also a really good time for you there is just a really good build to begin with at the start of the expansion because Odin warrior was a really good deck and it basically is the exact same deck warrior did get a lot of mechs but let's be real here Odin is just a really really good card so this is the build I'm going to show off now can he go play max I think so I think it might have some potential but I didn't see anybody playing it so I'm not going to go and recommend it I don't think there's really much to say about this you're waiting condition is obviously Odin a really good combo I will say though is with Acolyte of Pain and Aftershocks because you could draw a lot of cards with it at the time I recorded this this is just the earliest time during the expansion for people who are curious if you have any cool decks let me know with a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one